Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and in this video I am going to show you guys how to start building a website with WordPress. So we've taken a look at the interface and we can kind of navigate our, our way around WordPress uh, but now we're gonna change some content, maybe add in a menu and uh, add some static pages. So let's take a look at how to do all of that. And uh, the first thing you need to do is obviously log into WordPress and from here I'm going to add a new post. So let's go over to posts and right now you can see we've got this hello world post which is uh, what is showing up on our homepage and this is default uh, WordPress behavior. Uh, whenever you set up a new WordPress site all of your posts are going to show on the homepage and uh, the way this works is it'll always show the newest post first. So if I add a post to WordPress now uh, it's going to show up above the the hello world post. So let's uh, add a new post and I'm just going to call it another blog post and I'm actually just going to copy paste a bunch of content in here to save time uh, but yeah this is uh, just some lorem ipsum and uh, if I wanted to I mean I could carry on adding content I could switch to the text editor and actually edit in HTML instead of just pasting text, you know, I could uh, put in some actual HTML tags where I want to have my paragraphs give me a little bit more uh, control over certain things. Uh, come on, how do I keep missing <laughs> the key? Um, great, so that is pretty much editing done, but there are a few other uh, options on this page that I haven't mentioned, which are uh, the format. So I'm gonna leave this at standard format, but if you're pasting a video link in here, then you might wanna choose the video format. It's just gonna display a little bit differently. Uh, all of these displays will be slightly optimized towards the type of content you're adding. Uh, but this feature is only available in certain themes. So it's not going to be available in every single theme that uh, you put onto WordPress or uh, install onto your WordPress installation. So if these uh, options are not here, it means your theme has no support for these formats. Uh, great. So uh, there is also a screen options button at the top of the screen. If you click on that, it's gonna drop down uh, a bunch of different options that you can add to your page. Uh, so right now I've got formats and categories and all these things ticked, but if I go over to discussion and I tick that, you'll see it adds a little block over here with some options for uh, adding comments and trackbacks. So if these boxes are ticked, it means that WordPress will allow people to comment on my blog post and that is default WordPress behavior. If you ever wanna turn it off, you can just untick uh, these boxes and that will turn off uh, the ability to add comments onto this blog post, but only this blog post. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and hit publish. And uh, now let's go back over to the front end of my site. And if I hit refresh, you can see I now have uh, my new blog post appearing at the top. And uh, the same content that I put in here, we've got today's date and we've got the option to leave a comment. Uh, also, if I click on the blog post, I can go through to the actual blog page and uh, here is the uh, comment form. But like I said, if I come back here and I untick these options to allow comments and trackbacks and I hit update uh, and I come back and hit refresh, you can see that that uh, comment box uh, falls away and now I can just go back to the previous uh, blog post. But this one, I haven't disabled comments on this one, so this uh, still allows people to comment and will show uh, any comments that are uh, or have been made on the site. Okay, so let's go back over to the home page and there's something else I wanted to add to this blog post, which is just a featured image. So I'm gonna go uh, to the featured image box at the bottom corner of the screen over here. And uh, this opens up WordPress's media library and from here I can uh, upload an image. So I got a bunch of different images of me and I think, let me just pick that one and hit open and that's going to upload the image to WordPress. This is actually kind of a big file, so it took some time to upload. Uh, but if I hit set featured image, that's now set here as a featured image. And when I hit update, it will also display on the homepage uh, or on the blog post. So if I ever go through to the blog, 
uh, you can see that the featured image shows up above the text and also above uh, the blog details. Great, so that is how to add a blog and that's how blogs kind of behave or blog posts behave. Uh, now let's go back over to the homepage. So I just did that by clicking on uh, the site's title. So there are a few other things we can do over here because having blogs or blog posts appear on the homepage is nice if you're a blogger or if you're a news website or something like that. But if you are developing a website for a company, they might not want their blog post on the homepage. They'll probably still want a blog somewhere, but not on the homepage. Uh, so you might wanna add a static page uh, as your homepage. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And you just need to hit customize, which is this little uh, option at the, the admin bar. And then uh, under static front page, uh, you can choose whether you'd like to have your latest posts show up on the homepage, or if you'd like to have a static page on the homepage. Uh, and then you can see we've got these two different options that have been added. So one of them uh, is a page that you wanna use as a blog. And right now I don't actually have any pages set up for this, so I'm gonna leave that one blank. But the other one is what page you wanna use as a front page. So I'm gonna choose WordPress's sample page that was uh, set up by default. And uh, now you can see that my homepage has actually changed. It's no longer showing my posts. It's showing a static page that I can edit and I can always control what information is going to be seen first by the uh, viewers. So let me hit save and publish. And I'm going to uh, just leave the customizer. Um, so yeah, we've got a static page set up. And there are a few things that we might wanna change about this page, but there are also um, pages that we might wanna to add to our site because if this site is for a business, they're gonna need a contact us page. They're gonna need an about us page. And uh, we still need to add a blog somewhere around here. So uh, to do that, I'm gonna add a few pages and then we're gonna take a look at how to add a menu. So let's go over to pages and this again is quite straightforward and works very much like uh, a blog post, but if I hit add new, um, I can then add a contact us page because that's something we might need. And in here, you might want to give the user your telephone number. You might also want to give them your uh, address and maybe an email. Uh, I'm not going to put all that information in here, but this is just the kind of stuff you might want to put on a contact us page, especially maybe a map to find you as well. Uh, and I'm going to hit publish. And uh, I'm going to go back over to pages and I'm going to create one more page, which is uh, the about us page. Uh, and you can see that some of the uh, options like blogs are still available here. So if I hit screen options, I can um, check this discussion box and I can see uh, if comments are enabled for a page. By default, they're not, because you know it would just be weird for people to contact on your About Us page, right? Um, so by default, we don't really have discussion options set on pages, but we do on posts. Um, we can also set featured images and those kinds of things, but it's a page and I don't really wanna set a featured image for this, but I am going to add in all of that lorem ipsum again. Uh, and for an About Us page, I mean, you're probably gonna put content about your company or about yourself if you're a blogger. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit publish. If I wanna see what this page looks like right now, I can always hit uh, preview changes and uh, take a look at the page. But, you know, I don't really uh, want to just preview the page. I want viewers to be able to see it. So. Uh, what I need to do is add a menu to the top of my page. So somewhere over here, uh, I know that this WordPress theme has the option to add menus to the page. So I'm going to add a menu uh, by just going over to the back end, and then I'm gonna go to appearance and I'm going to go to menus. And from here, I can now create a menu. Uh, and right now I don't actually have any menu set up, so you can see I've got the option to create a menu over here. Uh, if this box is not showing up, you might have to just click create menu, but the only reason why uh, you'd have to click this is if you already had a menu set up on your site. 
Uh, so I'm just going to create a menu here. I'm going to call it main menu and hit create. And now uh, adding menu items is as simple as ticking on all the boxes uh, that I want to add from my pages and I'm going to hit add menu. I can also add blog posts uh, to a menu or I can add categories or uh, custom links. So in other words, if I wanted to add a uh, Facebook link or something, I could just put the URL in and then I could add the text Facebook to this and uh, that would appear in the menu as well. Great thing about menus is I can always drag and drop everything where I need it to be. So usually contact us is like the last link on a page. Facebook, we might actually have as a child link. So the nice thing is uh, all items, menu items like this will show up as parent level menu items. So if I hit save and I come back here and I hit refresh, uh, I should have a menu show up. Okay, reason why that didn't happen is because I didn't tick the uh, menu location. Uh, so depending on what theme you're using in WordPress, you'll have different menu locations. And uh, this theme has a primary menu location and also a social links menu. But I'm gonna make this menu appear as a primary menu and hit save. Now when I come back over to the front end and hit refresh, my menu shows up in uh, the primary menu location. Uh, so we've got our sample page, which is also a home page. So we might want to change this text. Uh, we've got our about us page. When I click on that, I've got the information that I put on the about us page. Contact us. Uh, you know, this is the same information I filled in on the contact us page. So I know this is working correctly. And I've got a link that would take me to Facebook. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> no need to uh, see my, my private Facebook, but um, yeah, if you ever wanted to add a link like that, you could do that. I'm also going to just uh, drag and drop that one level below uh, because then we can have a child menu item or as you can see it says it's called a sub menu item so I'm going to hit save and when I uh, come back here and hit refresh now uh, Facebook appears as a child menu item and the styling of how these menus works will depend on your theme obviously uh, but yeah we've got um, support for a sub menu and uh, it's quite nice to have that Facebook link appear under contact us if you want to be able to link to your social network. Uh, most people don't do it that way because we add social uh, icons to, to link to menu items uh, or to link to pages. But I will uh, explain all of that in a future tutorial. Um, so now that we've taken a look at creating menus and stuff, uh, I just want to add a few finishing touches because uh, I don't want this Facebook link there, but what I might want is a blog posts page or a blog page. Uh, so let's go back over to pages. Ooh, um, uh, I didn't save the menu. Okay, so let's go over to pages and I'm gonna hit uh, add new. And I'm just gonna add a blank page, but I'm gonna give it a title of blogs or uh, blog posts or something. Um, and I'm gonna leave this blank, but then I'm gonna go back over, ooh, did it not publish? Uh, and then I'm going to go over to the menu again, and I'm going to add uh, the blog post to the menu. I might also want to change sample page uh, to something more uh, convenient like home. Um, and then I'm going to hit save. And then I need to go back over to the front end and uh, I want to go over to the customizer again because um, something we didn't set up was this posts page. So uh, if we want to be able to run a blog that isn't on our home page, we can select a page for our blog post to appear and they're going to appear on the page that I created, which is blog posts. So let's hit save and I'm going to close this now. And so now I've got my menu all set up. Uh, we've got a home page, which uh, if, if you want to change this title, you have to actually do it on the page itself uh, over here. So you'd have to change this title, right? Then we've also got our About Us page, our Contact Us page, and if they click on blogs or blog posts, they can see our company blog or our personal blog. So that is a quick way to set up a WordPress site or just to customize it in a way that you would actually use a website. And I hope that was helpful. If you liked that video, there are a bunch of things that you can do to help. First of all, don't forget to subscribe, watch another one of my videos, Follow me on social media 
And if you want to support the channel financially, you can also become a patron. Becoming a patron means that you're going to choose to help me pay for some of the equipment and the software that I use to make these videos and also hopefully help me finish my degree. So go ahead and click on something and I'll see you guys next time.